this is Raquel don't forget to subscribe like comment how you doing okay so we're gonna talk about part two of will we talk, we, we started with part one last week and let me just bring this a little bit closer because I feel really far away from you guys okay this is better all right and so just a quick recap we talk about felon, not having a felon as your executor, because that could invalidate your will. We talk about making sure that your executor is a U.S. citizen, or if not a U.S. citizen, a resident in the state in which you reside. We didn't talk about what happened if you really want that non-citizen who does not live in your state to be an executor. You can, but you would have to have another co-executor who's from that state. We also talk about that your beneficiary, your beneficiary should not be your witnesses, and but we didn't talk about how states are leaning more towards three witnesses from two, not because it's required, but it's recommended. I'm currently in court for a case where one witness has died and the other witness cannot be located and the court is like counsel what am i supposed to do with this the will had to be validated we need evidence that the testator the one who wrote the will was in her right mind when she wrote the will there was no undue influence she wasn't pressured anyways so today we want to talk about part two we're going to talk about the elective share right the elective share we're going to focus on those situations like a current um Kind that I have where the couple have been living together for at least 30 years at least 30 years they have family together businesses together they raise their children together the kids are in colleges together you know the community only know them as a family and everything is everything right um, so this is not like back home in Jamaica where someone said, oh, you know, this is wifey. That could mean that the person is legally required to be there or not child. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just a cultural thing, right? But, um, so anyways, and so he has a will. And in the will, it is, everything is as he intended for it to be. So the problem is, um, he transitioned to glory and the real wife showed up the one who has a business license to say I'm his wife legally required to get certain things and so the law is like well child I don't it doesn't matter what estate planning you have your will your trust could be all perfect once the spouse show up that spouse is going to get half or one third depending on the jurisdiction depending because each state elective share um is different i know in new york right if it's over fifty thousand, the spouse would get if there are no children half right and then if there's children um, um if there's children they will get half if there's no children they get one third if the estate is only fifty thousand or less the spouse get everything child but anyway um but it's different from state to state. If you are legally separated, some states don't give up foot, some state care. So please uh, be mindful as to your jurisdiction so you know if the elective share applies to those who are legally separated, right? So, and um, this is really important because some folks um, get married in other countries and they come to the America and they forgot that they're married and they married someone else, right? Or they're even here in America and they forgot that they have a spouse somewhere. And so, um, you know, if you're in those situations where you don't know if you're married to somebody else, I, you know, um, I would go to your local municipality or, you know, you hire some PI to do a background on you, but... I think it's worthy it for you to make sure to know if you're married or not. You want to make sure that the person with whom you're married is the only person you think you're married to in this country, right? Um, and this is real. This is real. Some people think they're divorced and they're not, right? They they may have thought they, you know, they signed the decree and they didn't. So this is really, really important. It's called the elective share, right, guys? So 
Um, that's the part I want to add about a will. Um, the same thing applied to a trust. So, um, you know, and of course, there are folks who are very intentional and building a life with someone who's married and that person don't want to be divorced for whatever reason and the other boo is okay with it and that is fine. That is fine. Um, if that's what they agree to, just make sure that if you do your estate planning, it's such that that spouse doesn't own any assets, right? Um, but that's a whole different blog. Anyway, I hope that helps someone as you sit and craft your will, right? And uh, take care of yourselves, take care of your family, um, take care of your dog, your cat, your turtle, all living creatures, as they say in the land of my birth. Later, yeah, which means I'll see you later. Okay? Ciao, ciao.